Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at the transition altitude and what you actually need to do when you're reaching the transition altitude. The transition altitude is the point where you need to change the altimeter settings, right? Or also known as the barometer settings, as you can see here. This being done by the barometric pressure. By default, it's set to the, let's say, local uh, barometer settings or the local pressure which is applicable in the country or on the airport where you are because that I would say differs per uh, country but even per airport however the transition altitude that's a different thing the transition altitude right in the US and in Canada it's at 18,000 uh, feet that's why you need to press this button to move from the uh, I would say local barometric settings to the standard barometric settings and in Europe that's a little bit harder because in Europe there are different regulations per country so you need to know okay which regulations are applicable and in most cases you can find them on the flight maps what happens if you switch to the standard barometric settings it will switch the value to either 29.92 inches or a uh, uh, 1013.2 hectopascal in this case you can see that it's set to 1018 hectopascal that's due to the fact that on this airport there's a different pressure uh, mechanism active so how can you set this value well the first thing you can do is press the letter B on your keyboard the other method to figure out okay what's the barometric pressure is to tune in to the ATIS from the airport where you are so let's do that and let's see uh, what they have for us it Monitor works. Alpha Here it comes. It's always on the last part, so let's wait. Normally the text is here, right? But for some reason it doesn't display it. So you heard it? 3006. That's the altimeter which is applicable in this case to this airport. Right, so you can use this nice button over here to uh, change the values, right? And then you can see that it influences the altimeter. So it influences, hey, this is the, I would say, uh, I would say the almost the, the baseline altitude which you currently are. And you can see that by moving it either left or right, right, it goes into a negative value or it goes into a positive value. So if I would do it in this case on the uh, 1013, uh, which is the default value, so I need to move the button a little bit more to the uh, other side, 1013, here we are. That would be, I would say, 1040 uh, negative, right? So below uh, sea level. So that's where also sometimes it's being discussed at the MSL, val MSL value of the airport, right? The mean sea level, so how high does the airport, uh, or, is lo or how high is the altitude in the airport? compared to the sea level and the sea level that, that's I think what I understood is they agreed on one specific uh, pattern right one specific let's say baseline and that's the baseline which they use for every airport and that's how where they base the MSL value on for these airports so to reset this value again right I'm simply pressing it to B because that will set the barometric pressure value uh, correctly you can see that in this case it's set to hectopascal right but what you just heard is that the ATC in this case uh, provide us with the value uh, which is the uh, uh, inches value instead of the uh, hectopascal value but hey it shouldn't matter you can still uh, say edit <laughs> but what has it then that then have to do with the transition altitude right so to get the transition altitude for this specific country airport we need to open the uh, flight map and I'm using the Navigraph one because that's where I've got the subscription for. Uh, based on that, I need to wait till it loads and then uh, zoom into the uh, airport. And then oh, when I click the airport, I can say open airport, which brings me to the uh, charts, but also the procedures. And inside the charts, you've got that ref one. It sometimes depends on the chart where they put the values. 
Uh, in some cases, I've seen them on the, on the uh, standard terminal approach routes, right? The stars, but also on other maps. But what you can do here is open this, that card, and if I zoom in, you will see that in this case, the transition altitude is 3000. Also, the altitude set is being, uh, say, described here, where they set it to, to hect hectopascal. But you can see here, the transition altitude is 3000. And the airport elevation is minus 14, so it's below sea level, which makes sense. Now we know this, we can set the transition altitude uh, in the aircraft, right? Because that's what we need to set to make sure that we're switching to the correct altitude uh, or to the correct barometer settings uh, when reaching that specific altitude. And to do that, we need to go to the uh, FMC, right? The flight management system or computer. So if you're on one of those other pages, what you need to do is go to the index page. And the index page has a few options, right? So you can either say, okay, hey, I want to set it as the default transition altitude. In that case, uh, press the next option and go to the defaults option. The defaults option in the CG4, I would say, is used to set the default configuration for the aircraft, right? So uh, the average uh, passenger weight, but also the uh, reserve view. But if you go to the next page, you will find the flight level or transition altitude. In this case, since we say, okay, hey, it was 3000, we can change that value. But if you're changing it here, you will change it for every flight which you start from and then on. So be careful with that. Maybe you are flying, I would say, both in the US, but also in uh, Europe, but also in APAC. In that case, you might decide to leave this one at the default setting. Uh, if you want to change it, simply uh, provide the number right, uh, 3000, and then hit the button, which will override the transition altitude. There's no need to press the execute option. Uh, this is how it goes. The other thing which you can configure here is the descent angle and the climb cruise and descent speeds, but those are for the VNAV uh, configuration. And that's the other uh, thing you can do is what you can do is you can go to the perf page the performance page and on that one you can find the vnav setup the vnav setup uh, normally should take the transition altitude from the default flight but i do think that it only is applicable to new flights so in this case we need to set it right so we're gonna say 3000 and then we're gonna say uh, execute then go to the next one we also need to provide the cruise altitude but in this case we don't know the cruise altitude yet right so let's assume that we're uh let's say flying at uh, 16,000 feet that's the cruise altitude execute and then on the last page you've got the transition of flight level and you can see that this one has been again updated to 3000 be aware that maybe during the flight or maybe when you're reaching the I would say destination airport you might need to change this one to uh, I would say a lower or higher value that all has to do with the local regulations which are applicable so what do you need to do when you're reaching this 3000 well that's really simple simply use this one right you need to change it in this case to the default one and you can see once I pressed it using the right mouse cursor you can see that it switches back to 10,013 standard. In this case, you can see it's blinking and the blinking warns you that you set it incorrectly. So keep an eye on this one, which makes you aware of how you set the barometric settings. So pressing it again, will set it to that uh, barometer settings, which I just configured, uh, say by pressing the letter B, right? Because I didn't do anything else. So this is, I would say, is relatively easy, right? So you can either change it by going to the performance file and then go to the VNAV setup and then changing the transition values here. That's specifically for VNAV. Uh, are there other options which you can configure? Well, not as far as I figured out. Uh, you can see that you can configure the, uh, let's say the uh, cruise altitude, but there's no uh, transition altitude which you can configure uh, on this level. Although it might be this one, although this I think it has to do with takeoff. So I do think that in this situation we don't have to configure it. So here ends, it ends this, I would say, short how-to, although it was a little bit more uh, lengthy than I initially uh, thought. 
where we discussed okay hey what's the transition altitude and how you can you change the transition altitude in the cg4 and what do you need to do when you're reaching that transition altitude there are a lot of articles on the internet which describes a lot more uh, in detail so i will post some links to the uh, to those articles uh, which you can find in the description of this video uh, so have a look at it i uh, hope you like this video if you liked it then consider to use the like button if you've got questions or comments then feel free to post them in the comment box below and if you want to stay up to date about new videos i'm posting then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time